Hi, I'm Superintendent Steve Irvin. I'm part of the Police Scotland COP26 planning team responsible for specialist services. Police Scotland's Diving Marine Unit normally day-to-day -day are responsible for a whole number of searches um, from defensive searches, evidential searches, missing person searches. In the run-up to COP26 they'll be involved mainly for defensive venue searches uh, both in the river and on land and uh, dealing with confined spaces searches. After we've finished our searches on the river, the Ministry of Defence Police will assist us with uh, patrols um, at that time and throughout COP26. Hello, I'm Sandy Stewart, Superintendent from the Ministry of Defence Police and responsible for the Clyde Marine Unit. We will work closely with the Diving Marine Unit for any tasks that they have during COP26 uh, and we will secure and seal any area that they need to work within. During COP26, the Ministry of Defence Police Clyde Marine Unit will be responsible for patrolling the waterways of the River Clyde and in particular the restricted areas. The restrictions in the river are required as part of the secu overall security operation and it will prevent both mooring and movement on a certain part of the river. There needs to be security restrictions in place to assist us to provide a safe and secure conference and make sure the safety of the delegates, the persons attending and the world leaders is paramount. Uh, the public will see the Ministry of Defence Police launches and ribs on the water. This is not in relation to any incident and is purely the patrolling pattern for COP26. The public are a vital partner uh, in relation to the safety and security of the operation uh, and the key message for us is if, if you see something that doesn't feel right or doesn't look right then to report it to us.